Hi, everybody. It's David Ellison from Megadeth here, and you are watching CMS TV. It is your classic metal show right here on the classicmetalshow.com. Kicking off the show tonight, uh, we heard Great White from their Let It Rock release with uh, My World. And we heard George Lynch solo from the Sacred Groove release with We Don't Own This World. So there's a little conflict there, but a guy who's in charge of his own world, my partner and friend Chris Aiken. What's going on there, Chris? What is up, Chief? How we doing? Good. Hey, is our chat room open? Yeah. No, I didn't get no message. Yeah, it's open. There's plenty I, of people in. I, Sal's fighting with everybody already. <laughs> I, I usually get a, a notification, but I didn't get one. So I was just wondering what the hell that is. I don't know. Fucking locals can be squirrely sometimes. I guess so. <sighs> I, but I, it is open, and there are people in there actively chatting away. How do you get in there if you don't get a notification? Uh, you just go to classicmetalshow.locals.com. And click on the post that says, uh, whatever it says, hail and kill chat, or not oh. hail and kill chat, kill chat. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do this. I never, I never have to log in there. You know, I just, I usually just get the, uh, just get the message and I just hit view post and I'm there. Right. And then you're usually there. You just have to kind of go and find the post, but. Okay. Let's see. What is it under? Uh, just, just scroll down the timeline and it should be, there should be a post there that says, uh, chat and kill for seven twenty nine or something. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one that looks like a video? Um, it says maybe. bonus segment from the classic. No, scroll, scroll below that. Below that. Then there's yeah. Rocklahoma. What the fuck? Then there's I'll new be... Don Doc and interview. No, I'll just send you the link. Fuck me. <laughs> I was just wondering how it all works. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I don't even we're, know how they all, my own goddamn show works. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, here, pay us to work on, to, to be part of shit that we can't figure out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at the, the post and stuff, and I don't see anything about chat. Yeah, it's, or, it, for me, on mine, it's the next post under the bonus segment. Like, under the bonus segment. Well, right under that, it says Rocklahoma. Four, yes. four heady trunk and then there's something that says new don Dockin interview and then there says yeah. rock yeah. machine it's too far down already i'll just send it to you it's not it's not on it's not on my thing well i'm gonna send it to you anyway it's not there all right sal take it easy <laughs> <laughs> so uh here we are i just yeah just send me the link whatever just yeah I don't know. I'm reading, right, let's go. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm reading through there and that's all I see. So, well, it's coming. I think, it's, uh, I think I'm being shadow banned yeah, I, by I, me. I think, <laughs> I think you're shadow banning me. That's right. It's me I, shadow banning you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're keeping me out of my own chat room. That's right. <laughs> you fuck. No wonder you wanted the go daddy login. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never shared that go daddy login with you. Yeah. No You're out. <laughs> you were up to something no good last That's night. Right. I knew it. The new classic metal show featuring Chris and friends. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Well, here we are. End of end of July already. Yeah, I can't believe these months are just fl flying by. Summer, summer is half over now. Yeah. Half over it's... already. We got August and September, and that's it. We're fucked. Yeah. And then it's cold again. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird, man? It just it just came. It just got to be warm, and within eight weeks, we're going to go back into yeah. shit weather again. Yeah. I'm not really complaining, though, about this summer. It has, it's been nice, but not too hot. Well, on, you know, on, it, Unlike what part of the country you live in. Yeah. Well, global warming has not hit Ohio. I'll put it that way. I think we've had one ninety degree day. Right. And like all next week, um, I was looking at the next 10 days on my phone earlier and it's predicted the highest it's supposed to be in the next 10 days is 81 degrees. So, oh, there you are. so those of you that are dying in the heat, fuck you move. Yeah. 
It well, I, I experienced here. a couple of 90 degree days and it didn't seem like 90 degrees to me. It just seemed like a warm day. I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm just, it's just sweltering. Oh, no. it, was, it was like, okay, so it's a warm summer day. I remember days like this when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, th there's no heat like for at least here, there's been no heat like in previous summers. No, right, right. It's been really nice. I mean, I've, I've actually been working outside as much as inside lately. So. Okay. You know, it's been, it's been really nice. I wish what? it stopped raining. You've been getting out of the house? Well, all the way to the fucking <laughs> three feet from the front door. I see. <laughs> not, not like out, out of the house. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm literally sitting in front of the big window in front of my house. <laughs> oh, look at that. So, so you've been working outside? A little bit. Yeah. Because it's been nice out. All right. That's cool. You know, it's, it doesn't make any sense to be locked down. I agree. I completely you know. agree, but yeah, I, I agree with you. The rain, uh, we've had some pretty wicked thunderstorms come through yeah. here. Same you know, I, I woke up last night right around midnight and it was just coming down like a, like a torrent. You know, right. I, I just heard it hitting the window and I was just like, what, where, you know, it was one of those where you kind of wake up and you, you're trying to figure out where you're at because you just got woke up all of a sudden. Sure. I just hear that wind and that rain just slap it against the house. It was just like, holy shit, what the hell is mm -hmm. going on out there? And then the night before it's the same thing uh, more earlier in the morning though, like, like around five in the morning big old right. thunderstorm come rolling through and just, you know, just hit the side of the house. So it's just like, holy shit. Yeah. I know. It, it's been pretty brutal here too. The, the, the storms and the thunder, you know, it's like, holy shit, I got to turn my TV up so I can ignore the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just hope you don't get a lightning strike. Yeah, exactly. Don't have all my shit short out from getting my house getting hit, but exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, but you yeah. know, it is, it is summertime. So that's, that's to be expected. Mm -hmm. you no, know, that's, exactly. that's normal. Yep. <laughs> but sure uh, it, it's the, it's the jet streams, man. Oh, whatever. I, I could give a fuck. It's weather. Yeah. You know what? Whatever with the weather it's, it's raining, it's hot, it's cold, whatever. Yeah, and it, it's been that way all my life. Yeah. And it's going to be until the day we drop dead. Exactly. I, I, I cannot, uh, I can honestly say that through, through the years, I have not noticed any changes that were just well it wasn't like this before when i was a kid yeah like I it, mean, it was worse some, yeah some, i was some, gonna say most times it's like like the wet like the winters especially i mean i remember of course i remember here living in ohio the winter of 78 which yeah. was just like you know 43 feet of snow or whatever it was <laughs> you know and and it's like, man, I think this year we might have had a, the most snow we had on the ground was like two inches at yeah, some point. I, I, think, I think that was about the thing here. I, I didn't even encounter any, you know, uh, you know, like black ice roads and stuff. I think I had like one, one, maybe two bad days as far as like driving is concerned. Right. You know, during the winter. And I was just like, wow, that's a, that was a good winter. <laughs> yeah, well, I consider I probably parked my car from September till March, you know, <laughs> And your homeowners are so, oh, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't play those dumb games. Thank God. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't threaten to tow your car because no. it was parked in your own driveway. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Dude, I've had that one car sitting in my driveway, just rotting away. Like I'm a, tr like I'm trailer park <laughs> trash since 2019. And right. I'm finally getting that thing towed out of here this week. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, finally, I finally, somebody, somebody's going to come and drag it away. They're going to have to, cause like the tires are flat and it's just <laughs> covered. I mean, it, it, it was a white car, but it looks completely black now because yeah. of the tree sap that's just covered it for five years. And, right. You know, but yeah, I'm, I finally, it's been one of those things that I, I had it, but Kelly gave it to me and uh, or gave it to my daughter actually, but never gave us the title. Okay. So it's been this whole thing about getting the title and neither one of us ever remembers to go get the title. Cause whenever we're together, it's about drinking and smoking pot, not okay. about doing responsible things. All right. So finally, after years of it sitting there and her saying, Oh, what, what, when are you going to do something with the car? And I was always like, well, whenever you get me the fucking title, I'll do something with the car. Right. Finally, she brought me the title here a couple weeks ago. So I'm getting it. I'm getting it yanked out of here. Gonna get my 150 bucks for that thing. All right. <laughs> You'll be rich. I'll be loaded. All right. Very good. <laughs> well, you know, it's time time to clean up around the house. 
time to clean up around the homestead. Yeah. Make it livable. Well, getting that thing out of my driveway, it's it's the equivalent of a fucking of a of a hillbilly having a washer and a dryer in his front yard. <laughs> or and a couch. Yeah, and a couch. I mean in this neighborhood and, and you can attest to it, the listeners probably can't, but you can attest to it. In this neighborhood, to have an eyesore like that in my driveway, I definitely get the why is this hillbilly living in our neighborhood look? Yeah. Yeah, you live in a you know you live in an upscale community you know neighborhood oh, yeah. type place where everybody's out mowing their grass on Saturdays mm. and weeding and you yeah. know doing the uh, family uh, yard chore thing. Yeah, everybody a, a good afternoon like today a good afternoon for this one this one uh, clearly overly Jewish guy and his family <laughs> was was walking his family up and down the road. It was him and his little, like he had like a, like a five, three and a two year old. Okay. And just him and the wife with their yarmulkes on and their long, <laughs> ugly clothes on just walking really? the neighborhood. Right. Oh yeah. Well, just out in the heat like that. Just, yeah. Yeah. The guy was in his, in his, um, almost like his Amish suit, okay. you know, like the full suit that just has to be a thousand degrees with the big old dumb hat on yeah and all and all three kids had the little yarmulkes on like the hasidic jews are they that type of jew i i don't i mean i didn't see the curly cues on any of them but that doesn't wearing like a black hat it was a black hat black suit i don't know he might be a he might be hasidic jew who knows and then the wife had the the wife had the um the hot skirt where I could see her ankles, so right, I was like, "Ooh, right. sexy!" She, she had her burka on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, it made it look like it was made out of a burlap sack. Yeah. And, um, and then the kids all were, you know, were dressed. You know, the the daughter was definitely wearing a dress, even though she's like three. And the the boys were in like little suits, yeah. walking the street. <laughs> little suits, huh? <laughs> little suits. Little black suits. Little suits on a on what a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, how <laughs> how comfortable is that? Oh yeah, that that just screams having fun. Yeah, I know. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, hey, more power to them. Hey, yeah, hey, more, I you know, as long as they ain't fucking with me, I don't care what they do. <laughs> I don't either. It's just it's just funny though. To, it's just like man, I mean, with a, I I do you, do you think that. Uh, do you think that they uh, look at that as uh, suffering for the, well, let's see, the, what, what do they believe in? They don't believe in Christ, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I know my, my niece, my niece that lives in Spain, she's, uh, she's converted. Her, her latest religion is Judaism. Okay. And she's, so she's now Jewish. Is that Judaism? Jewish? Yeah, Judaism. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's, she's, she's Jewish now. And I know, I know the big problem that, that always are, are, occurs when she's here is what they call shabbat yeah which is on fridays fridays from like 4 p.m until like sunday or something they're not allowed to use anything electric well you you didn't watch big lebowski no i told i've told you it's not my deal oh, well, <laughs> I, i've seen I, it but i don't that remember walter, it that walter claims he's jewish and that and he he goes i don't roll on shabbats yeah yeah, yeah well that's roll. it but it, it, it's been it's been a weird family thing here because, you know, my mom, like when she's here, she'll stay with my mom. Well, my mom ain't playing that game. Right. Of course. My mom doesn't want to hear. I got to turn my TV off because it's fucking Shabbat. Yeah, well, the, that, that's the whole thing. When here, Here's the whole thing. And, and I, I had time to think about this, given a recent situation that you're aware of. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're a guest of yeah. someone. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't come in there and dictate the rules when you're a guest, right? You know, and some people need to get that through their head that if you're a guest somewhere, you can't demand or command that people bend to your expectations and rules because you're in attendance. Right. I, I agree. You know, totally. and it's just like, uh, you know, take that shit somewhere else because if you think you're going to dictate the the, the environment here, uh, then you're never going to be invited again. Yeah, and that's kind of where where it's at with my niece. Yeah, and my my niece, I, and I love my niece to death. I mean, I do. So I don't really want to shit on her too hard. Well, it's not a matter of shit on anybody. It's just it's just that people have unrealistic yeah. expectations that when you're the guest, I mean, if mm-hmm. if you're 
if you're the one hosting and you have certain rules of the house, you would expect people to kind of abide by your wishes. Yeah. Well, but, and, and she's the other way around, uh, you know, you need to, uh, you know, either fall in line or don't attend. Yeah. And, and with my niece, she's, she spent the last five, eight, 10 years, whatever it is trying to figure out what she is. She's one of those, like, She's, we had a Muslim phase and now we're having the Jewish phase and we right. had a, we had another, I forget well, what the that, other religious that's highly, phase. Oh, that's highly opposed to each other. And that the, well, yeah. well, well, the Muslim, she, one she swung, didn't work. So she went to the other, I guess, <laughs> she, but so she swung from the Muslim side to the Jewish side. Yeah, she swung all the way over. She didn't but, want to kill herself. No, <laughs> mm. no, but now she has a new name and you know, she's, she's not, she's not Alex anymore. It, she's um, the Madonna. It's like, what is she? Oh, no, no, she's, Haya. She's Haya. Haya. Yeah, which I don't know what that means, but hey, I guess. Hi, how are you? Hi, how yeah, are you? Exactly. <laughs> hey, Haya, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what that means, but hey, again, I'm not shitting on her. More power to her. Do, do what makes you happy, but not my deal at all. Right. Of course. You know, I, I can't be can't be dealing with that shit. So I agree. I agree. But uh Hey, what, hey, whatever floats your boat, man. Just go do it. Thank you for heady trunk. Didn't take long for a ham reference to right, come in. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> a swine, that's a filthy animal. I don't that's right. Swine, that's a filthy animal. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Yep. So what's been going on in your world this week? I don't think I've had much communication with you. Uh, it's been, a, been kind of a weird week. I mean... Me and uh, me and Mr. Gioelli, who'll be on a little later, uh, had a very busy week, really firing up um, our new little venture. So I was super busy with that. On top of that, we had a we had a family pretty dramatic health scare thing with my niece, my other niece. She um, she had she had to have some pretty severe major um, surgery this week. Cause she got a, an abscess that was turning septic in her, like from a bad root canal, root canal Ouch. that went bad. So we were dealing with that. My mom had surgery this week on top of that. Wow. It was, it was a pretty, pretty fucked up week. <laughs> People getting cut on this week. Is that the yeah, deal? Pretty much, man. It was, it was de definitely one of those where it was like, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying so hard to work on this new, this new venture. And at the same time, I'm really struggling to focus fully because I'm dealing with, you know, my mom. And of course, my mom, she was having some skin cancer removed okay. on her on her head and on her leg. Right. She, of course, doesn't tell me until the day before. <laughs> so you can't you, plan, you know, the, yeah. hey, mom, I want to help you out. But come on, give me a little heads up. Well, and not only that, the only reason she told me at all was because my niece came back in to, to deal with the doctor for her thing okay so the only reason she told me was because i might be needed if um something doesn't go and i'm like wait a minute i don't even know about <laughs> your surgery let alone this emergency sir what the fuck is going on here right you know it's like it's like y'all gotta be telling me something here ahead of you know if you're having surgery even if it's minor you should still probably tell me just so that if you need a ride after like if something doesn't go quite right right i'm aware and i'm sure. around right you know i don't think that's crazy talk to <laughs> to think hey tell me you know since i would be the guy sure I don't think that's crazy to say hey just in case be ready yeah exactly but yeah it was, it was definitely uh not the most fun week at all <laughs> other than other than the goe stuff which has been great that's been right. you know it's very tedious i will say that Whew, it is a lot of it's going to be funny when Johnny comes on because I haven't talked to him in like, oh, I don't know, an hour, yeah. you know, because <laughs> you know? all day long today, today was like my first real day of putting in records and stuff. And mm -hmm. all day long, it's like, hey, dude, can you do this? Da, 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 da? Okay, good. Ten minutes later. Hey, dude, can you, but, but, you know, yeah. you know, it is first day, first yeah. time you're doing something and you just sure. want to make sure you're doing it right. So. Right. All day long, I've been texting back and forth with him, like, "Hey, man, what do you think of this? You know, what about the?" And I'm sure he's fucking tired of dealing with me. Sure, 
He's going to come on here later and be like, what do you fucking want now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he'll take a few minutes out of his busy day to, to you know, uh, pacify us yeah. and, you know, be a sure. guest on the show. Well, I told him that, uh, you know, that ARP was a big band for the show, which it is. I mean, we play ARP all the time. And you do, because I know you're a huge fan of, of Axel Rudy Pell. Mm-hmm. And, right. And honestly, until you had said something like two weeks ago, mm-hmm. I really did not realize that Johnny hadn't been on the show at all. That's, I mean, yeah, I know he's been on your Chris Aiken Presents. Yeah, yeah but I didn't realize that he hadn't, you know, because we've had Axel on sure. numerous times. Yes, numerous times. And I just kind of assumed that somewhere along the line we had we had johnny on as well but you know we don't even have an id from him yeah yeah we got to get that i I can get that taken care of too i'm sure sure you can if you're talking to this guy every other 10 minutes yeah exactly hey hey bro as i'm bothering you let me bother you for this too (laughs) take your ass in your studio and record me an id yeah take 30 (laughs) seconds out of your day yeah pal Oh man. Well, me, I've, I've just been balls to the wall, busy with, with the, you know, the normal gig and sure wrapping up this life coaching thing. I got two more weeks and I'm, I'll be certified. I got to take my uh, final exam and get that out of the way. And I want, again, I want to thank everybody who listens to the show, who signed up for a, um, a sample coaching class. Uh, thanks for helping out. I, I went through uh, over 20 of you out there nice. and, and uh, you know, everybody, uh, you know, the, the accolades that you and I get from our fans is, is overwhelming sometimes. Sure. Because you know, as, like I said, I, you know, we'll, you know, do a session with them and, and, you know, go, you know, do what I do. And then we kind of give a chance to, okay, it's your turn. What do you want to ask? What, what's on your mind? And, you know, it's, it's basically what the show has meant to people over the years, you know, right. you and I banter and the subject materials that we cover and the topics and our experiences and, you know, how we navigate life and, you know, sure. how, how we seemingly, you and I seemingly are carefree in our lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> and how we handle things and how right. we seem to be successful and accomplish things and, you know, how do you do that? I want to be more like you and, you know, that kind of thing, which is sure. very, very complimentary. And I appreciate all the very uh, kind words and compliments. And, you know, I've, I've uh, shared a few with Chris, you know, and things. So uh, thank you again for everybody who's, you know, assisted over the last few months and given me an opportunity to, uh, you know, do my do my new craft. You right. Know, learn my new craft and and uh yeah it's been a pleasure speaking to every one of you so nice i still uh i still have a couple of more to go but uh yeah i'll have that all wrapped up uh by the second week of uh, august i hate to say that august already holy shit that's on tuesday i know and you started this shit in fucking january right no, february february but still it's been yeah. all year yeah my first my first class was like i think the 16th of february or something and wow you know, it's it's wrapping up in uh, in two weeks. Seems like you just started to I know, <laughs> I know. It's been crazy. It's been that crazy. is funny. But, uh, yeah, you know, I had my weekly classes and you know my assignments and homework and the life coaching sample sessions and you know some of the people who've signed on to be actual clients and you know things like that. It's just uh, you know it's been overwhelming. So. Between, you know, uh, burning the candle at both ends during the day and then coming home at night and doing doing my thing in the evening and, you know, that kind of stuff. It just it's I'm, I'm, I'm ready for a little little break. <laughs> this this damn class need made you need a vacation. <laughs> well, it's not the class. It's just the, everything. You know, it, it's right. mental. Everything's mental. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a very mentally challenging thing. It's not. It's not a physicality thing. It just makes sure. you mentally tired. You know, the, the normal day gig is, is mental strain in itself, you know, and then uh, everything else. So it's just it's just a matter of getting proper rest and, you know, eating right. I've been on a I've been on a 100 percent vegetable diet for the last couple of weeks. OK, so I've been uh, just doing that because I was just I was getting a little 
I don't know, maybe just from the stress or something, I, I felt like I was putting on some weight. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go hundred percent vegetable diet. So it doesn't make you tired as hell. No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I I've been mixing in some proteins with that, you know, but whatever, not, you know, just some like, uh, like, a, a Southwestern, uh, rice and bean type mix type thing, right. vegetables and just, just all clean stuff, you know? Okay. Right. So, uh, you know, in two, two weeks has made a difference. I mean, it's only been a couple of weeks and, uh, it's made a difference. So, you know, it's just, you just got to manage. That's all sure. there is. you got to manage man up, do it. That's right. Yeah. Just to decide, you know, I can't, can't keep going on this way. If I let it go too long, then it'll be twice as bad to try to, to reverse it. You know, you don't have to tell me this fucking, I've been increasing the workout now. Mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, I've been really trying to get, you know, now that I got this thing that has me motivated to be alive again, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't want to necessarily die. So right? it's like, Earth. so I'm working out a little bit harder now and it's like, oh, I really hate this. <laughs> <laughs> it is really hard to get back going. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I know. The older you get, it's, it's tough. I mean, but I, you know, I feel good. I don't, I don't wake up with, like I've said before, I don't wake up with aches and pains and I can't get out of bed and my joints are achy. Uh, I'm not, I don't have any of that at all. Fortunately, you know, I, I feel, I feel the same as I have in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel any different, you know, I wish I could say the same. I literally, I literally last night had to not go to fucking Pantera because of his goddamn shoulder. So, really? Yeah. So I that was the one in Pittsburgh, right? Yep. Yeah, that was one in Pittsburgh. And I had tickets for tonight too. And where was this? Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to go, I was going to make the drive over from Pittsburgh to Indy, but, um, you know, the shoulder just ain't letting me play. So. so, so I'm assuming John, John went to both shows. John went to, John went to, um, Pittsburgh. Okay. And, um, I was meeting Toomey in, um, Indianapolis. In, okay. Yeah. Of course he sent me a, he sent me a fucking text and he's like, ah, these two seats next, next to me sure look lonely. I'm like, you know what, dude, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I forgot that, uh, that show was coming up here as quick as it was. Yeah, it was just one of those. I waited as long as I could trying to get this shoulder up, up to speed, but I did, um, the, the fallout from Chris Aiken presents and Seth show on Monday was like, yeah, there's no way I can do 10 straight hours with this fucking shoulder. There's right. just no way. Right. You know, so I just, I just, first time I've ever missed a Pantera show. Man. Ever. You know, but whatever gives me motivation to, to fucking work harder for the November show. So, so what do you got to do to get that shoulder back in order? Do you know, is there a remedy? I did. I, I'm supposed to see, I, I know you said you had yeah, a lot of waiting another, just to see somebody and now yeah, what, is that supposed to happen? Um, August 14th. Okay. The next specialist. All right. And I've been through several specialists already. They don't know what it is. Okay. That's really what it is, is, is I've been through cat scans and scan you know what's the other one the the mri mri yeah uh, i've been through a few different doctors they don't know what it is but it's it's one of these fucking things with uh you know like right now it doesn't hurt a bit like right at this moment it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. but when i get up to go into the other room here when we take a break it just right here, it just feels like it, the muscles are ye pulling off of the fucking bone. Ouch. And I don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. They, they assume it's this radial nerve mm -hmm. that I have a tear somewhere in the radial nerve, but even the scans, because the nerves, the nerves, you know, don't look if, if it's not torn completely in half, they can't really tell because, you know, a nerve doesn't look like. There's no like definitive shape to a nerve. It just right. looks like a fucking spider web. Right, sure. You know, so they can't really tell where it is and they they're they're not able to isolate where it is. Hmm. I mean, the last doctor I went to, I told him flat out, you know, I was like, I don't give a shit what you do. Cut me from the fucking <laughs> fingers to the shoulder and fucking nerve block it everywhere. I don't care. Just make it make it stop. And the doc and this doctor had a fucking set of balls on him. <laughs> This motherfucker says to me, but it'll leave an ugly scar. It's like, like it's are like, you fucking kidding me with this? Like, have you seen my skin? 
Yeah, I'm like, you see these fucking, it's all a fucking scar. What's one more? Who yeah, gives I, a shit? I even got a song about it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just, I, I couldn't believe it. it was like, it'll leave an ugly scar. I was like, oh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> give me somebody. And that's literally when I was like, uh, give me somebody else. Right. Send me to another specialist. Well, too bad they can't, they can't figure out, you know, something to do with it. Like, you know, some kind of a wrap for it or something to yeah. port it or. Dude, and it's the weirdest thing because sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't. You know, I've done, I've done episodes of shows where it doesn't hurt. I've worked for an hour where it's like, holy shit, I got to lay down, right? Like today, I was working a little bit today. Everything was fine. My, my son came in the room to ask me a question about something. I like leaned back in the chair just to, you know, I sit on the couch and I kind of leaned back on the couch. All of a sudden my shoulder went fucking bonkers. Hmm. I was like, Ooh, you know, what the fuck? Right. You know, it, it really is. Uh, it's, a uh, it's, a conundrum. It's, a conundrum. Yeah. yeah, it's just, a it's a thing. And you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. But man, it just won't stop. Right. It's stopping me from doing a lot of shit. Sure. Especially missing Pantera shows. Yeah. And you know, Pantera is my favorite band ever. For me to miss Pantera, you got to know I just didn't think I could make it. Right. And, and, and I missed it. And when, and when are those, uh, when is the Metallica Pantera show? When is it? November 10th. Oh, it's that far away. Yeah. So it's. I got another. I now got another few months to get this stupid shit and, fixed. And, and watch, there'll be a blizzard on that day. Of course, there will be. <laughs> there'll be a blizzard, and you yeah. won't be able to make it to Detroit. Either that, or I'll finally get my shoulder fixed, and then like two days before, I'll get a car accident and fuck it all up again. <laughs> that that's probably what'll happen. Just something horrendous like that. Right. Then you'll really be screaming for vengeance. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, that's no fun. See, it, it's not all fun being Chris and Neely. No, not usually. That's it's, for it's sure. Not, it's not as great of a life as you think. I, I mean, we make it what it is, but it's it's not it's not all it's not all roses all the time. No, it's definitely not. Yeah, it has its challenges, folks. It does. That's for sure. Yeah. But. So, you know, we all we all have our challenges. <clears throat> yeah, but. I'm not one that's, you know, I, I know I talk about it here on the show, but I am not going to complain about it. I'm not going to, oh, poor me, this thing. Yeah, well, I just, how are you going to do that? I mean, it's, yeah. it's it, what, what uh, you know, how does that help? Yeah. That, that doesn't help anything to sit there and bellyache about it. It's just like you power through and yeah. try, to, try to figure out how to, how to do a workaround or something. Yeah. It's not stopping me from being productive. That's for sure. It did right. for a couple of months. Yeah, I know. I remember but, back in the winter when I started yeah. life coaching classes, you were in yeah. bad shape at that point. When I was trying to do the fucking show from bed and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to do it, but. Well. But, see, but see, you worked around it. You, you were able yeah. to do the show even if you were flat on your back in bed. Yeah. I mean, that was, <laughs> that was, and that was not fun. I that, will tell you that sucked. And that's all I got to say is that's dedication. Well, I do. If I obligate to doing it, I generally do it. If, right. I, if there's any way I can do it, but you know, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be very much glad when this nonsense is over and I can get back to, you know, living my life and not having to base everything on if it's longer than two hours. Cause that is not a fun way to live. Yeah, no kidding. And and the fact that uh you know that you can't get any kind aside from, you know, aspirin or you know, Advil or whatever, uh, for any kind of pain relief, you know, they won't yeah. they won't inject you, they won't give you any kind yeah. of steroid, they won't give you nothing. Well, they did give me the steroids for a bit at the okay. beginning. At and the how beginning did, how did that work. It did make the difference between when it was really bad when I couldn't even sit up at all. It did. I was on the steroid for, I think, two months or a month, rather. And right. it did it did clean it up to where I was able to get up and get around again. So, but then they didn't want me to keep taking it because yeah, it's, you know. Dependent on it and all that. Yeah. It. Well, and I really don't want to be. Part of it is me. I don't want to Jack Russell myself. Yeah, no kidding. You know, and and that was the same steroid that he was on. I think you told me that, that it was the same steroid that he was on that fucking ate away his stomach yeah well so he, he just way overdid it obviously but uh, yeah 
So I didn't want that. I didn't want, and, and with pain meds, I'm so addictive to everything that I really don't like to use pain meds anyway, you know, because using them for pain will end up using them for fun. Yeah. And, uh, no, <laughs> you know, and I just know me, I know me well enough to know that that is just not good for me. Uh, you just, uh, you, you would just, it just, the temptation is just too great. Well, when I was doing, um, and again, this is a lot of years ago, but when I was doing the, the meds for, um, for the burns, right. They had me on Percocet. I was supposed to be taking two pills every eight hours. I was taking that shit by the handfuls. <laughs> I mean, I was like four, five, six, All right. fuck it. Take that and chug it with a, with a fucking glass of milk. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Just suck it down, man. You know, so, and, and I, I did so many Percocets that my, my doctor at one point asked me if I was selling my meds. Nice. He brought me in. We, we used to, on Thursdays, we have to, we used to have to do what's called show and tell. Right. Where we'd come in and he'd look at the burns and, you know, see how right. the shit was healing or whatever. Right. And they would get, they would get the reports of your med, you know, your refill, your prescriptions or whatever. Yeah, your request for refill. Yeah. And back then, well, back then back at that point was before it was all computerized mm -hmm. so my doctor had written me a unlimited refills script <laughs> for percocet right and one bottle was supposed to last me one month and i was refilling it twice a week wow twice yeah, a week i was taking dude i was taking when i say i was taking them by the handfuls i am not kidding you're, you're lucky uh, your liver didn't fall out no, it was only for a short time before he cut me off. <laughs> but but literally at one point he brought me in for show and tell and he goes, I know with not working, you're probably low on money, but you can't be selling your meds. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not. I was like, I'm not. I need those meds. He's like, I know, you know, everybody says that. I was like, no, I swear to you, I'm taking these meds. I'm eating these like Pez. I was, and I really was. They're and in a Pez dispenser on my bed. Uh, and I, it just got to the point where finally he was like, well, we're going to wean you off this. We're going to put you on T3s first, the Tylenol 3s. Right. Which, pfft, Yeah, that's nothing. Fucking, not, not when you had the good stuff. You, you not know. when I'm taking five, six, eight Percocet at a time <laughs> to go down to two Tylenol 3s. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, but, and it's the weirdest thing because I have, since then, I have a lifelong addiction to fucking ibuprofen. I go... You I go with addiction to ibuprofen. If I don't take it every day, I get a headache. Really? Oh yeah. Huh. Every it's single like, and I go it's through like having a. It's like having a coffee headache, you know. It is same thing. Yeah, if you don't but, have your caffeine, you know. Mm -hmm. But I go through where most people would buy like a three hundred pill ibuprofen and it'll last them five years or whatever in their in their cabinet. I go through two one thousand things a year of ibuprofen <laughs> wow, that's that's tough on the liver yeah whatever i'm not gonna be 100 <laughs> yeah and i'm so good on it with in other ways you know because i don't drink much or anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly i don't drink that much anymore that's yeah. the weird that's well, the that, weirdest that, part that of is, my life no, that is that is the thing about you yes especially recently i noticed you've been drinking those waters what what is it yeah. about those waters you like so much these rewards it's yeah what reward. is it uh it's all natural and it it doesn't have any bullshit in it no fat no sugar no nothing <laughs> it's it's not like uh, drinking gatorade no it's definitely not i mean i'm looking at it right now no fat no saturated fat no trans fat no cholesterol 12 percent sodium um no carbohydrates no nothing no sugars no added sugars no preservatives you know nothing and all it does is gives me juice it gives me it gives me the same energy as as like two cups of coffee would. Right, right. So I I've been I've kind of switched to that and dude I mean you saw even even when we were out what three weeks ago or whatever I didn't have a single drink. I True. Just, I I I have drank in the last probably six months under five drinks. Really? Yeah, you. I'm just not. I'm just not. And it's not like I'm trying to quit or anything. I'm no, not just, that. Just, you just don't have the taste for it. Well, I haven't. Part of it is I haven't been out anywhere. Right. I don't. I don't like to drink at home. 
I, I mean, I you, just, you did you did go to Dave Landau and didn't do too much, yeah? No, I didn't drink very much there either. Maybe one or two there, but uh, you know, um, you know, and it really is just kind of a thing for me where I don't like to drink at home at all. If mm. I'm, you know, I am not George Thorogood. I don't <laughs> drink alone. You know, I, I don't, because again, I'm so addictive when I used to do that. I mean, you remember when I first got single. Oh yeah. Drinking alone was drinking a fifth a day yeah. of vodka. That's a lot. That was a lot of booze. It's awful when your mailman makes fun of you. <laughs> Dude, the fucking mailman would see the would see the um the whatchamacallit. Bottle, the, the yeah, the, the the recycled bin. Yeah. And he would always come up to me, you know, and he he would be he'd be like, Oh, you had another party this weekend? Yes, yeah. I mean I I hadn't had a party. It was yeah. just seven empty bottles of fucking vodka. Yeah. Because I drank I I would drink a bottle of vodka every single day. Wow. <laughs> I was I was drinking a lot. Yeah. And That's, I still, I, guess I, a lot. I, I couldn't even imagine. I mean, you know, I haven't drank vodka, you know, in years. Right. You know, Cause I told you about it, you know, yeah, I that, realized it was causing me anxiety. Right. And, uh, even then I didn't drink that much. I, I maybe had two, maybe three at the moment yeah. and that's it. Yeah. You know, was, that, that's all, that's all I could handle. It's just like, yeah, I'm not this. I mean, I, I, I liked it when it just kind of, you kind of feel good and then that's where you stop. You know, yeah, well, yeah, I don't need that. But then, but then when the, uh, anxiety attack started kicking in, then it was, sure. like, oh, man, what's, what's causing my heart to race and why am I so nervous and why am I, right. you, know, you know, whatever. And like I said, that was over three years ago and I haven't, I haven't experienced a panic attack or a anxiety attack since. Yeah. Well, I was definitely drinking the pain away and it wasn't working real well. So I would drink more. But it was bad. I, dude, even in the mornings, that, that was such a goofy time in my life. I was really trying to eat right and exercise. That was when I was doing the yoga, like every single morning, every day. And, you know, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm doing it all right. I'm eating right. I'm eating egg white omelets in the morning with, 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 with orange juice. But then the orange juice became those big, giant cups of maybe 10% orange juice <laughs> and 90% vodka. Yeah. And this was it, like, eight o'clock in the morning i'm having screw scribers <laughs> oh i was by noon by noon i was a half a bottle deep every single day what are you having for breakfast chris i'm having egg whites and some screw scribers <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly <laughs> it's about what it was too because i was i was pounding drinks wow i was always hammered boy i don't know how i didn't get a dwi in that time because i was never sober <laughs> i mean never well, you saw, I mean, the kind of times you saw me, I was definitely not sober. No, not at all. I mean, you, you had, you had no problem consuming that alcohol, man. Mm -mm. That was, that was definitely my vice. Yeah, that, I think, that, during I think the divorce. obviously the worst I saw you at any time was obviously your, your birthday party, birthday party. At, at Billy's club. And when you came here. Yeah. Well, and, and, and un unbelievably there's other examples that are the same, the party that we had here one time. Where I ended up, I got so drunk and I had to move my car and I tore the whole bottom end out of my car from <laughs> running over the rocks in my driveway. I ran over the rocks in the driveway and I tore out the whole, like half of the radiator in my car and, you know, all kinds of shit from underneath it. Because I was just fucked up and I just, eh, and I just didn't care. Right. I just didn't, even, I was just like, fuck. Someone will fix it. Yeah, sure. It'll, it'll, it'll miraculously fix itself. I, the, the weirdest thing was, even though I was all depressed, I was making more money than I had ever made. Right. So I was like, I oh, fuck. I'll just get it fixed. I don't care. Fuck it. I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you did for a while. I did for a while. Boy, I wish I had some of that money back. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you live, you learn. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. All right. It's kind of oh. fun to kind of reminisce a little bit sure. and back. And it's just like, man, that was a long time ago. You go, you sit there and think, holy shit, that was almost a decade ago. Well, dude, um, I got, um, I got the, the Facebook notification thing on, on Facebook this week. <laughs> this week was the, you're not going to believe this, the 10 year anniversary of the Wisconsin trip. Is that right? 10 years ago. Wow. 2013. Holy shit. 
I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah. 10 years ago, we were in, uh, at the, uh, what they call it was, um, rock USA, rock USA sponsored by that Ford dealership. Yeah. It was Van Halen, Jackal, Dokken and rat. Right. But 10 years ago, Yeah, 10 years ago, that's fucking nuts. That's when Piercy was asking me, dude, can you, can you find me some ice? <laughs> <laughs> can, you find, can you find me some ice? There's a lot of fun stories out of that day. Holy that smokes. Day. That was, that like was good, so much fun. That was a good day, man. Between that and Don with the fucking hot dogs. Remember that Don, <laughs> yeah. Don sending Stephanie and John running around to find him corn dogs or corn something. Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I can't go to a, can't go to a fair and not have corn dogs. You guys got to go out front and get me a corn dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was, uh, he was just, uh, just recovered from the stomach cancer. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, that, that day was crazy. I must've sat for an hour and a half talking to Sean McNabb about sons of anarchy. Right. And, right. Yeah. It was just, that was just, honestly, that was one of the most fun times I've ever had. And, and that's when, uh, that's when the rat guys were all getting along and playing yeah. together and stuff. Right. You no, know, that was, that was without Bobby though. Right. You know, that was with, uh, uh, uh with, um, Simon. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. Simon, not Simon Phillips. Simon. Um, I forget his name. The guy from ACDC. Oh, Simon Wright. Yeah, Simon Wright. Yeah, he yeah. was playing drums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good times. Yep. So, um, yeah, that was a that was a really good day. But man, ten years ago already. Yep. Holy Crazy. shit. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. All right. Well, I, I'm at least Facebook's good for one thing. Giving yeah. you a little, giving you a little timeline reminder. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Well, speaking of docking, they're going to be here uh, Sunday. Okay. I'm right, sure right, you're going. Well, they're right here in my backyard, literally. I mean, they're yeah. like, <laughs> they're, they're playing uh, in Portage, Indiana, which is okay. only 10 minutes from the house. Right. So they're, they're playing over in Wyandotte, Michigan, which is like a suburb of the Detroit area. Right. Saturday. And then they'll be over here Sunday, which is okay. really weird. It's Sunday. Sunday, yeah, that is weird. A Sunday in the park type thing, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, I, it's put on by the uh, city of Portage. So I, I I'm I'm going to assume it's a free show. Right. Because I, I don't I don't think I saw anything about tickets or anything. So I think it's one of those sponsored by the city type thing. Right. You no, know, but yeah, next Sunday. So, Very cool. Uh, so that should be. I haven't seen Don and the boys in a couple of months. Yeah. So uh, it'll be good to see those guys and hang right. out a little bit. And, and, you know, I took uh, Monday off. Very cool. So, uh, you know, it just kind of worked out. I already was, I already had taken Monday off because I, I got a dentist appointment to go get a cleaning. And I thought, oh, wow, look at that. They're coming in on Sunday, hang out, see yeah. them off in the morning, go do my dentist thing and Hell then yeah. take the rest of the day and just hang out. Edge. Yep. Yeah, exactly. 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 So that should be fun. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I just got a text from Johnny. He's in the, he's in the green room in the next, in the next broadcast. So let's, okay. uh, let's uh, play one tune and then we'll flip over to that, to that thing. And then we'll have Johnny on. How's so that, that thing. Yeah. Well, what would you like me to play, sir? A, a Johnny, Johnny fronted song from one of his projects. Um, play, um, I would say hot Sherry, but that's way too obvious. Um, play, um, she's a lady from, um, ballad six. Cause that's the current, that's the current record that they're, that they're doing or that All they right. did. Uh, you said she's a lady. Yep. All right. Find it. No, no, no. Did you find Ballad 6? Hang on a minute. Is it just the number 6? VI. Or... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so you you had me you had me looking for something I couldn't find. I was going to say I know it's in there. I listened to it earlier today, so oh. All right, let me see here. You looking under Axel? No. Yeah, look under Axel Rudy Pell. Okay. Boy, I'm not being helpful at all. No, you? you're not. <laughs> <being helpful at> all. <laughs> all right. 
I'm slowly, slowly dribbling out the information. Right. She's a lady? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. Finally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just one song, you say? Yeah, just play one song. We'll flip over and we'll we'll get into the into it with Johnny, see what he's got to talk about. All right. Well, uh, so this is, uh, well, this is 2021 release. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, this is Axel Rudy Pell, and this comes from the, uh, the Diamonds Unlocked 2. Okay. And uh, she's a lady. So uh, here it is. It's Axel Rudy Pell exclusively here. On your classic metal show. <laughs> We'll 